Hello lads, welcome back to the Manchester United career mode on FIFA 21. My name's Al, I have a player gaming. Before we begin today's episode, I'd like to say a big shout out to Christopher Breen. He's followed us over from Instagram and his favourite player is Bruno Fernandes and Rashford. So I hope they play well in today's episode. We're going to move on to those uh, games now. Uh, we actually have a game coming up against Wolves. That's in the Premier League. And we also have a game, it's not um, showing up on the calendar, but on the 23rd, which is a Saturday, FA Cup match against Sheffield Wednesday away. We're going to finish the episode with a game against Spurs in the league. That's right at the final day of the month. And that's coming up um, on the Sunday, as you can see. Now let's get to the games and see how we get on. So the team is on screen, as you can see. Um, pretty much the full strength lineup. Still missing uh, Pogba, but Van der Beek's been playing well, so I expect him to continue that here in the league. And we're underway at Old Trafford, hoping for a win here against Wolves. Tellers intercepts. He does really well, and that through ball I think was meant for Rash uh, for Martial, but Sancho picks it up into Bruno. Oh! In possession, Adama, and space for the cross. I feel like I'm playing Leeds because they're playing That's in this wide kit. Into Traore. Oh, what's Maguire doing there? And a great save from David De Gea. Sent in. Oh my God, that was close. That make horse, the uh, striker, he's massive. Got Maguire and by marking him, but he still gets the header away. Oh, Johnny turns away from Van der Beek and Van Bissaka. Weghorst. Oh, good block from Baye as they get it clear. Ten minutes to go till half time. Just a few minutes left here. Van der Beek into Rashford. He's taken an ace to bring it under control. What's going on? And just one minute of headed away for stoppages for dance Veghorst perfectly positioned interception by Wamba Saka that is simply not good enough I mean Poch needs to give him a rollick in at half time really lay into him still level here but the pressure escalating yeah van der Beek into Bruno yes Get in! Bruno, Bruno, Bruno! He's from footing like Cristiano! He goes left, he goes right, he makes defenders look shite! He's a Portuguese magnifico! Lovely composed finish! Not a chance there for Rui Patrizio! Bruno, back to Van der Beek! Van der Beek's gonna take a drive and it's pushed away from. The goal. I feel like Wolves have got a goal in them, though. We've got to try and get this second goal. Pulled across to the front of the box. Headed down. Bayes there! Yes! Come on! Eric Bayes, his second goal of the season. Really well ta taken by him. On his left as well, on his left peg. That is a really good finish by the centre back. Exciting game that will be, I'm sure, Derek. Traore. Vasquez. Back in again. Traore. He completely ghosts Maguire again. And this time by intercepts again. Traore to Semedo. Robbed by McTominay. That's well in by Scott there. Go wide, go wide. Cavani. And he finds Sancho. Sancho's in behind Johnny here. Sancho to Bruno. It's three. He just rolls it in. And Sancho gets another assist from this wide position. He just sweeps it in. Eight goals for Bruno now. Mostly our setup man with lots of assists, but Maguire does well there against Veghorst. And now we can break. Two minutes left. Sancho into Cavani. 
Well, creatively, United have been great tonight. Imagination, Back to Sancho again. Into to Cavani. This is lovely interplay from United. Just looking for the runner. There he is. It's Cavani. He's not going to take it on his left. Oh, what a finish by the Uruguayan striker. Rui Patricio didn't even smell that. What a finish that is. Lovely technique. Well, it really was a tale of two halves. They completely outrun us in the first half. Had almost 65% possession, but in the second half, I don't know, maybe Wolves gassed out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Now look at the lineups on screen, as you can see. Uh, rotation side for this FA Cup fixture. And there's Sheffield Wednesday's uh, team. Playing those uh, five at the back, looking for the wing back to try and provide the width there. I think probably the one player that we do have to watch is Windass. I'm quite familiar with his goal scoring traits for Wigan. So, with us playing a rotation team, the defence isn't going to be as good as usual. But here is our team Henderson in goal. We've got Fosu Mensa and Williams as the full backs, Twanzebe and Rojo as the centre backs. Fred partners Galbraith in central midfield. James and Greenwood on the wings with Mata as the attacking midfielder and Edinson Cavani up front. And the match begins. Fosu Mensa. Can he pick somebody out? Lays it off to Mata. And here's Galbraith. Oh, and he's found Cavani. Early chance. Oh. Five minutes in. He thought Cavani would score there. Mata. Into Fred. Can't find Cavani. It's bobbled up. Cavani, strong shot. And pushed away by Waldsmith. Matter and Cavani looking to get in behind Lees here. Pulls it back. Galbraith. Oh, and that's a really strong shot. Wildsmith makes the save. And Matter was sniffing around for the rebound. We should have more than enough to see off Sheffield Wednesday here. Cavani turns Dunkley. And that's a good save from Wildsmith again. Not been able to beat him yet. Headed away. And good pressure here from Twan Zabi. Oh, and it's a poor giveaway. Fosu Mensa finds Cavani. 1-0. It's a, actually a really good ball from the full back. He just basically, I think he just smashes this into the box. I don't think he, he actually sees him. I think he just smashes it back into the danger zone first. Throw in. Into Bannon. Oh! <laughs> Williams isn't afraid to get stuck in, as we know. And he picks up a yellow here. Oh, it's a crunching tackle on Bannon. I don't think he could complain about that. Oh, oh, swung in. Twanzebe gets a header to it. Knocked down. It's Windass. Oh, and a good save from Henderson. Got to try and keep him out till half time. Oh, it's a really good header away. And at half time, we do have a lead. It's a slender lead. Hopefully, we can get a second goal. In this second half. Cavani to Mata. Looking for Fred. And looking down this left. It's James. There's the pullback. Fred. Shot's not on. Mata. Oh and it's blocked by the author. Defensively they've done quite well. Crossed in. Oh and Adam Reach. And Henderson can't uh, hold on to it. Danger again, an early reminder that the game is not won for United here by any stretch. 
telling you now, goalkeepers win games too. What a save. Cavani slows the play down a little bit. And again, they look down the left. Fred and James is in behind. A chance to score the second. Get in. Good lad, James. Good lad. Danny James into the far corner. He wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. This time the goalie can't bail them out. Nine minutes to go. I'm going to go for the short corner hour here. Fred pulls it back to Danny James. Looking for the shot. Oh, oh played wide. And look at James. He's in here. Into Greenwood. Galbraith. Sliding challenge. He's missed it. Palistri with a chance. Oh, and a good save from the goalie. Pochettino thought that Palistri had scored there. Talented uh, footballer. So 2 0. We're through to the next round. Let me know in the comments what you think. So, Spurs next up in the league. And as you can see, we're back again with that full, row, um, full strength team. And really, we need a win. Uh, because obviously, we're still chasing Liverpool for the top of the table. We don't draw that many games, but we have lost. A handful of them, so Marcia looking to take him on. Sliding challenge by Dyer and he's won the ball back. Into Vinicius. And he's played it wide to Lucas Moura. Up against uh, Alex Tellers. He's gonna pull that back. Winks. Cuts inside by Oh and his Oh Deli Ali scored. How's he scored there at the near post? Well, it's right in front of him. I mean, he virtually has to lie down on top of a pillow. How's he letting that in? A world class goalie like that. Venetius. Venetius backing off from him. Well played, Scott. Great tackle from McTominay there. Van der Beek over to Martial, into Bruno. This is a lightning quick counter attack. Rashford in from the left, cuts inside. Oh, it's the post. Beaten Larice and then strikes a post. Gotta wonder whether it's gonna be our day. Counter attack by Spurs. Had to pull it back a little bit. It's Vinicius. Cuts inside from Bailey. Oh, look at this. By he's out of position, Son. Oh, and a good save from De Gea. A little bit of an atonement there for allowing that first goal in. Spurs send it in. Oh, and they've scored. It's Deli Alley again. An own goal. But it comes off Deli Alley's head. How can it be an own goal? Who is it, Van der Beek or McTominay? How's that an own goal? If anything, it looks like he handballs it in. Scott McTominay own goal. I don't know about that. So an own goal, and now they are chasing the Work team. to do. It's a terrible start. Only 20 minutes old, the game. And United two goals down. Possession changing hands. Baye wins it back. Martial on the turn, McTominay gets the return back, it's Martial into the box, yes, it's a fantastic equaliser by Manchester, uh, fantastic goal by Manchester United, we just need the equaliser now, both goalies now been beaten at the near post, although I must say that was obviously hit with some power, 11 goals now for Anthony Martial, Van der Beek, McTominay into Bruno. Oh, and he sees Rashford. That's a great ball. The full back out of position. Marcus Rashford, can he pull it back? Oh, and he's gone down. It's a penalty. Come on. Lloris. Both goalies absolutely terrible today. I actually do like Hugo Lloris as a goalie. Oh, it's a clumsy one from him. And look at Mourinho. <laughs> He's not happy with that, is he? Come on, Bruno. 
I'll stick it in this top corner here. The cursor won't settle down at all. It don't want me to score this. Steady. Yes. Get in. Bruno Fernandes has equalised. The lead didn't last long. United. The comeback is well and truly on. Right in the top corner and never in any doubt. Right inside the post by the looks of it. Even if he'd have died for that, I don't think he'd have got it. It's a really lovely penalty from the uh, Maestro. 2-2. And it really comes back down to can we get the winning goal in the second half again. And we need to win. We need to keep winning because of Liverpool's record. Here's a transfer story for you to digest. Kind of this news close them has down. Through. And that's a ball over the top, and it's Son. Well, Baye's going to gonna come across to try and challenge him here. Well in. It's a great. How's that a free kick? What you score from this now? Ridiculous. That was never a free kick. Headed down by Hoiberg, but it's an easy one. He didn't find the corner. He had to add on into Fernandez. 20 minutes to go. Van der Beek. Oh, look at this. He had Aaron. Gets the ball back. Van der Beek. Oh, it's a terrible finish. Should have gone with his other foot. Winks. Oh, well in. Van der Beek with a great cha challenge there. Rashford into Cavani. And now Bruno, he goes back for the return. Van der Beek's to the right. Oh, look at this, Cavani. Oh, what a finish. What a finish. Edinson Cavani. He's done it again. He could have even back healed that to Rashford. But what a finish. And another one right inside the post. He'd have never have saved that. But not to be. Time running out for Spurs as they try to get the ball forward. And that is it. Full time. We've conceded two, but we've scored three. And you kind of feel that that's the way that the league's going to go this year. Just basically blitz them as much as possible. We've got to win. That's the most important thing. All right, guys. So we're going to take a quick look at the league table. As you can see... Uh, the win against Spurs means that we are just two points away from catching Liverpool who are in first. Spurs are behind us, but there's a big 11-point difference there, so it really has become a two-horse race for the time being. Leicester are in fourth. They're a, a win behind Spurs. Manchester City occupy fifth. Wolves in sixth, but they're on level points with City. Newcastle are in seventh. They're doing really well. They're on level points with Chelsea in eighth. Uh, and Arsenal 9th, Everton 10th, Brighton 11th, all on 36. And there's a big gap there. Fulham on 28 points are in 12th, Burnley 13th, West Brom 14th, and Sheffield United 15th, Leeds 16th, and Southampton just outside the relegation zone on um, 21 points. Then West Ham, Crystal Palace and Aston Villa make up the bottom three. These are the transfers that we brought in. Um... I did get a recommendation for H.M. Badawi from uh, Nice, and it was on Instagram. I can't remember who it was, so if you're watching this, thank you very much. Um, we sent Marcos Rojo the other way. Um, it was something that we wanted to do, as Rojo was getting older and declining. To replace Rojo, we brought in Pau Torres from Villarreal. As you can see, he's very, very good, and he's got the strength trait as well, which should help us. Um, with uh, Twan Zabi playing next to him. So coming up in Friday's episode, we have West Ham in the league, Chelsea away in the league, so uh, trip to London there. And then uh, we also resume our Champions League exploits as we take on Atletico Madrid in the first leg of the round of 16. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash that like button, continue to support me, and I'll see you guys on Friday.